Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me here on my channel. I have a really quick and simple easy fold double pocket insert that you could make in under five minutes. And then the fun part is embellishing and decorating your pocket and adding all of your fun goodies or whatever you like to add inside these pockets. And it is a, a great size and uh, you can put in here so much stuff in here. I'm going to show you what I put inside my double pocket insert. And then you can also use these pockets to add uh, photos uh, and put all of your photos in here. Ephemeras, you can put all of your large ephemera pieces in here as well. Uh, so this is the one that I've made. And then this is how it looks like. So you get a, a pocket up here and then there is a side pocket here as well. So you can have a, a deeper pocket to add uh your larger stuff in there you can also add a little uh, journal in here if you like you can add a nice small uh, journal in here and uh, have that stored in the pocket uh, so this is what I've put in here I just put a whole stack of uh, goodies in here just so you could see what you could fit in here and it's still not really bulky so you could even send this as happy mail if you want to send some happy mail goodies to a crafty friend or if you are doing a swap you can do a swap with a, another crafting partner and make one of these and you can both swap your uh, crafty goodies in your pockets and then uh, swap them so what i've done here is i did a bit of embellishing here and i added another cute little tiny mini uh, pocket in the front here just to decorate this part here because uh, it was a little bit blank and you can also use that little mini envelope to add some smaller little pieces of ephemera pieces or some little uh, birth sentiments you can stock, stack them in here and I have a tutorial for you so you can make these cute little mini envelopes and I'll put the link down below if you want to make these cute little uh, tiny envelopes to add to your double pocket it's really easy um, you only need a three by four uh, piece of paper so just use your paper stash to make these and you can make a whole heap of these and then I glued the back of the envelope just the three sides down here and the bottom and up here so I could create a top little like another uh, insert at the back so I could add some smaller tags so it's just another little interactive spot there so you could add some more little pieces there and let me show you what I put in here. Then I'm going to show you how easily it is you can make one of these. And I have made these a while back. And there are probably other videos out there uh, on how to make these. But I just thought this is such a fun little um, double pocket. So I've got in here some uh, package stickers. And there's a whole bunch in here. So this is a great Happy Mail ID. These are, this is a Project Life or um, 3 by 4 journaling card. So if you have a whole heap of those, that would be great to swap with your uh, crafting partner. I've got here a double envelope. It doesn't, I don't have anything in here, but I just wanted to show you um, what you can put. So there's a pocket there, and then there is a pocket here in the front as well. So you can add some smaller ephemera pieces in there. If you wanted to make an envelope and put one in there, a tag. We always love adding tags into our little uh, Happy Mail uh, packaging. I've uh, packaged some stickers in here as well. So you could um, package some stickers and they're nice and flat so they're not bulky. You could also decorate your packaging with a bag topper and decorate your bag topper. I made a paper laid embellishment a while back and I had done a tutorial on how you can make uh, one of these paper laid banner shaped uh, embellishment using your paper scraps so this is a great little idea to just add that in, into your uh, pocket and it just decorates your pocket as well quite nicely and it just looks really fun and then over here is the deep side tuck pocket I placed some flower paper embellishments and they were adhered to some acetate and I just cut out some uh, paper so that it would fit inside the side pocket and just added a paper scrap to create a little pull tab so that was um, a good spot to fit in here so you can see you can add some of your embellishments and package them place them in here and you can also have your pocket this way if you want it this way so you can have your 
pocket here and then your pocket up here so you can have it this way or that way so that's entirely up to you how you would like to um, make your pocket so I'll just put these back and I'll show you how to assemble one and make one of these such a, I mean look how deep you've got so much room in here you can put all of your photos in here as well or make it into a little mini photo album and just keep them all together so I'm just going to show you how much I can fit in here just put these back in there and I think that's it so let's go ahead so all you're going to need is one piece of six by 12 inch paper so if you have a 12 by 12 paper you're just going to cut that in half at six inches and you can make two of these so that's another great way with this um, double pocket you can make two of these with um, one piece of 12 by 12 paper so um, i did use double sided paper so that way you're able to see another print at the back so if you have double sided paper it'd be nice to be able to use that so you got double print but if you have single sided paper this part here will be the white part and then you can just decorate it and cover it up so single paper sided paper is still fine to use so i've cut mine in half and then we're just going to line it on the 12 inch side and we're just going to do two score lines at four inches and eight inches and that'll give us three even panels so on the 12 inch side i'll score it at four inches and eight inches and that's all there is to that and i have my paper with the directional design you're just going to also decide which side you want uh, the part as your cover and in this case I'm going to have this as my cover so I will have it face down and then the directional will be facing the normal way so with that first score line that we've got up here we're just going to fold that back so we're going to fold the top part back and I'm just going to give that a good press and then where we're, we've got the other score line we're just going to bring this one up so it was just folding one back and one to the front. So you have your paper like that. And then with the front part here, we're going to fold this forward. And I'm just going to uh, fold it about from here. And then this part about halfway to here. So you can, again, just decide how far down you want to create your fold so that you can have your um, pocket showing. So I'm just going to go like that. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can just create a thumb notch up here if you wanted to do that. And um, But I like this sort of uh, shape, so I've done that. I'm going to open this up and go to the middle panel here. And on this side, I'm going to use my uh, uh, circle punch to create a thumb notch. So I'm just going to go on the right side of the middle panel. And do that. If you don't have a circle punch, you don't have to worry about making one of those. It just makes it nice so you can see the pattern there. So that's all done. And now we're just going to assemble it and adhere all the parts we need to uh, close up to create our pocket. And, it's, and that is all there is to it. So what we'll do, what we'll do first, we're going to open this up. We're going to glue along here so we can close the front. Sorry, <laughs> my glue hasn't come out. I keep leaving it open and then I never close my glue bottle so then it just dries up which is then my fault so let me just quickly let some air out but you can go <laughs> I guess my pin oh gosh okay I'm just gonna add my glue now here And I'll just blow, glue that up. And then I didn't glue this side. I'll just open this up. If you wanted to uh, keep this whole front part closed, you can go ahead and add some glue just along here and then seal that up. And that will seal both sides of your front pocket. But I didn't uh, glue mine down. 
that I just thought that would just help give it more room to open and that way you can add some more of your bulkier stuff in here and it just helps it easier to have to get things in and out nicely so you can decide I'm not going to glue mine I like to keep mine just a little bit open and then with this part here I'm going to glue all of my uh, part down that I created the fold you could also if you don't want to do that you can create this as a tuck spot here to add like a little tag or you know um, some other little pieces so you can create that as a little tuck pocket if you wanted to and if you wanted to do that you're only going to glue just along this part up to where it creates the crease and then that will seal that down and then you'll have a tuck pocket there so that's another option for you but I'll just close all of mine and seal it all down so that part's done and now we'll just open the bottom part and then we're just going to glue along here and along the bottom and that will give you your uh, deep side pocket and then that is all there is to your double pocket insert so I'm just going to glue there and all the way across and I'll just bring that down and then seal that off and your pocket double pocket is all done and so you can have it this way and then you'll have a pocket here you've got your pocket up here and then you'll have a tuck pocket here or if you want you can glue this part down and then have a tuck pocket up here for little small slim tags if you're having your pocket this way so there's a few little options you can um, use with this little um, folding part and that is all there is to your double pocket insert there's your pocket and there and then if you decide to create a tuck pocket you could have one there or you could go this way up there and then create a little tuck pocket there so these are just a, another fun idea for you to make some double pockets uh, just another easy project that you can make in under five minutes using one uh, half of a tour by tour paper so i hope you enjoyed this quick little easy tutorial and i'll see you soon in my next video bye for now